Hey guys, welcome back. So sorry it's been a long while since we've done any videos. Not been out on the beach, travelling or collecting obviously because of Covid. So just trying to stay safe even though I've been working full time constantly. Um, we're just doing what we can do really. So we've done no prep videos are there. I'm waiting for some new prep stuff. I ordered uh, the T-Rex pen from uh, Zoic. So hopefully when I get that we'll do some videos and see how that gets on with that. I've seen good reports of it, so hopefully we're going to crack on and do some prep videos as well with that. So what we thought we'd do, because we've not done a video for such a long time, is we'd go through some of the stuff in the collection. And this first video I want to do is probably one of our most important things I've ever found, which is the Ichthyosaur embryos. So the existence of uh, viviparity, which is the development of embryos inside the body in Ichthyosaurs, has been known since 1846. So in the UK, embryos have only been reported in six ichthyosaur specimens, with only one other one from Yorkshire, which was collected in 2013, also from the beach at Sands End, which if you remember, is where I found this one, and that is on the video episode number 41. So I found that in October 2019. So the other example that was found is now on display in the Yorkshire Museum, which is in York and it's well worth a visit going in there if you can uh, ever go to York make sure you go to the Yorkshire Museum so not wishing to prep this block myself I sent it to Mark at Stone Treasures um, so he could have a look at it because I've not done much bone prep before and if you can remember so when I found it on the beach we spotted the ends of the ribs sticking out and then the remains of the vertebrae on the block. So unfortunately, when Mark started prepping it, as you can see from this side, it's hard to pick up, the vertebrae would have been in the other part of the block which is worn away and it only left such a thin sliver. As can be seen on here. So Mark suggested that we uh, cut it and polish it and see if we could find anything interesting inside it. Now, I wonder if Mark had a sneaking suspicion or hoped that he would also find some Ichthyosaur embryos in this one as well. So, it did reveal something interesting. So, once it was done, it revealed a wealth of detail in there. So, let's flip these over now. So as you can see, there is the ribs of the adult ichthyosaur running through there, the remains of the vertebrae on that side. And again, that's a good one to show the ribs on there. So it also revealed though, which is the really important and interesting part, is the remains of ichthyosaur embryo vertical columns hopefully you can see these I'm going to put a lot of stills up on the end so there's one there there's parts here on that block and there's some on here as well so these uh, with them being joined together and they don't look degraded by stomach acid so this lends to believe that they're actually embryos and not something that is eaten so there's also other bones in here as well, small fragments of bone, and this black mass as well, which could be evidence of soft tissue. So this block now represents only the second recording of an ichthyosaur embryo from the Low Jurassic rocks of Yorkshire. So and I think I'm, I'm guessing here, but I, I've got a strong suspicion that because of where it was found, the preservation of it, the same material and the calcite veins running through it, that this could be part of the other block that was found by, Ma by Mark in 2013. So the one that I've mentioned is in the Yorkshire Museum. So um, this, it does require further study, uh, hopefully from uh, Dean Lomax and Mike Boyd who wrote a paper on the other one. But unfortunately, due to when it was found and then by the time it was prepped, we started coming into COVID situation and lockdown. So although they've seen pictures of this, specimen they've not actually had a hands-on view of it so I'm hoping that 
within the next few months once we get sorted um, we can take this down and meet up with the guys and uh, see what they think because it's no good sat in my cupboard although it's very nice it needs to be studied and recorded properly right so hopefully um, you enjoyed this little look through it we'll have a closer look now with the camera but as I said I'm going to put a load of stills on there so hope you like this uh, hope you'll stick with us again apologize for not being out but as you can appreciate it's not full choice um, and we're going to get some more videos up so thanks very much guys stay safe so that's more of the ribs from the adult animal and that black material which could be soft tissue Again, there's calcite veins running through it there, but there's very small vertical columns in there and some other bones in situ in that piece. And again, the black material. And the block was cut into three blocks, so sorry, three sections.